Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you with some more RimWorld. Going to be starting up uh, version 0 0.8 at uh, long last. Uh, slightly modified. Now, of course, last, well, it's been a while since I was actually able to record due to computer issues, which I'm still trying to kind of iron out, as it were. But uh, regardless, last time we'd finished off our Alpha 7 uh, modded Let's Play, we'd gotten our ass kicked a little bit. I'd actually found a guy named Sacriel and wanted to keep him, but sadly we couldn't because they all died. So, yeah. Damn you, you mechanoid bastards. So I have gotten a couple of mods here. Oh, sorry, kitty. Sorry, kitty. Oh, I kicked you. My bad. Here you go. Uh, so I've added a couple of mods on here. One, of course, once again, EDB has just come up with a really nice mod. We have the new mod order mod, essentially, uh, where you can assign a order for the mods and change everything. You know, it's a good way to help avoid conflicts and stuff like that. So it's really freaking nice. Of course, I have three of his prepare carefully interface. I also have industrialization quality labels which uh, automatically gives us labels just like on the items so we can see like okay this is a good item this is a great item and so on and so forth and just target practice so my guys can actually train with weapons and not be so effing shite <laughs> uh, if I ever have a spare you know moment to actually have them train anyway let's go ahead and create a new world too old yes I am too old <laughs> uh, let's go with that save and finish good enough for me New colony. Uh, we'll do challenge Cassandra. Classic. Oh, hell. I don't even know which one's which here. Well, you know what? Let me delete all these old worlds. Let me delete all of these old worlds. And this one was made today. So, yeah, that's the one I need. Okay. So, I believe we now do have the... Uh, Slate, yeah, growing period, June and July, so it's a very small gro uh, growing period. Uh, it's a tundra, it's a new, one of the new locations, so I guess we'll try chilling here. Literally, literally. You can see the average temperatures as well, right here. Really freaking cold. That's kind of what the temperature is here right now, ironically enough. <laughs> uh, it's funny. So yeah, we'll go with the mountainous area. We'll do, we'll do a large 300 by 300 site. Should be good. Alright. That should be good. So, we're going to prepare carefully. And uh, see how that goes. Do I actually have any presets? I do have some presets. Preset 1. What's this? Oh, that's fine. So this guy appears to be just a really good shooter. Oh, wait. Preset 5. Cuz I think that's the presets seem to be set to change everyone. Holy Jesus, 32 social. What the fuck? Oh, that's just insane. That is just insane. Incapable of cleaning and caring, which is medicine. That actually isn't that great. Huh, and now suddenly it's kicked back down to like 20. That was weird. Space humanitarian. Firefighting disabled. Screw that. Cargo pilot. Cable is scary. There we go. Combat negotiator. What do you give me? Shooting, melee, and social. I'll take that. That seems nice. So I'll have to definitely have to screw around with this a little bit. Uh, it looks like... Actually, might have saved each individual one. But either way, either way... Let me actually pull up the video, which I forgot to do here, so I can uh, see who actually requested a character. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn thing. To hell with you, Winter. Hmm. 
Well, I can always change the names later, so I'll leave that for now. I'll just leave it to what it is at the moment here. Oh, yeah, load colonist, save colonist. Yeah, I didn't save colonist, I saved a preset. For everybody. Conceptual artist. I really don't like that at all. At all. Surgeon. Medicine. Pretty decent at medicine. Sickly child. Gives us a little bit of research in medicine. This guy's also a surgeon. Uh, it's got some general skill to him. That's okay. And everyone is apparently naked now this time around. There we go. Wow, so I'm just giving them clothes and it's just like screwing me over. Damn. Yeah, I don't really care about the hair. I just really want to mess with the uh, clothing. Armored vest. Pants. Who needs pants? There we go. Bottom clothing layer. Oh yeah, in that case. T-shirt. Damn, I would have to go through this whole damn list like this. Top clothing layer. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, good. There we go. Just give everyone, like, freaking t-shirts and let's be happy with that, shall we? Now, I had this guy set up as an empath. I kind of wish I could just randomize the whole thing. Not his name, but his actual skill set again. I know I can. What the hell am I talking about? Of course I can. So, we have my social guy. My dog. Well, I wouldn't even call this guy the doctor. He just kind of sucks. So, let me... Dumb labor and skill labor, I dislike that. There we go. Scientist. So we got the scientist, we got the surgeon. Although I almost wouldn't bother calling him that, but hey, let's go with that. Negotiator. Housemate. I'd like to have you actually as a miner, if I could. Come on, give me mining. Give me good mining. Caring, social, or artistic. You know what? That's fine, actually. Because I'll leave you with good shooting skills. It's a veteran. I'll reduce research. Because I really don't care for that at all. And I'll give you these skills here. Alright. And now I just want a really good grower, cook, and crafter, I guess. Well, actually, you know what? Hmm... When you're not, I'll let him have growing, that, and he's also the cook. Okay, good. Okay, he's also a really good cook. So, you're going to be just my crafter, I guess. So, let me go ahead and randomize some of your stuff here. Medieval slave. Capable of dumb labor. And capable of none. That'll work for me. Let's lower your medicine. You really don't need medical skills. You do, however, need huge crafting skills. Because I want to be able to craft really good shit. Alright. Now, let's see here. Let me double check to make sure that they're all not incapable of things. Incapable of cleaning. That's fine. Caring. 
You're there to shoot things and construct things. That's good enough for me. All right. Now we got 2,900 points to shave off our total here. All right. Damn. Holy crap. God damn. This is going to be difficult, more difficult than I thought. Um, let's see here. Green thumb. Bottom clothing layer, t-shirt, cloth. Body parts. Oh, I can actually give them mechanical body parts and shit. Sweet. I've already taken off, like, all of their clothes except for shitty shirts. So, I'm just like... There's no possible way I can reduce that further, maybe. Remove that entirely. Uh, no, there's not really much I can do at this point. I usually like to make it as legit as possible with using the actual points, but I may have to just say screw it this time around. Huh. Yeah, no, I guess I'll just say screw it this time around. That'll work. That'll work for now. Let me save that as a preset, though, just because... Yeah. Overrate preset 5, so now I actually have this next time. We can just go with it. So I'll name everyone off next time, for those that want them. I've already wasted too much time screwing around with that, so we'll just go with it. It's funny, usually I'm able to get it to the point where... You know, I'm using the points and I still manage to, you know, just break on through there. But this time around, it just seems like I couldn't quite manage to get it underneath the mark. I don't know what I what I screwed up. Probably should have just said, like, no, everyone's naked until you can make your own damn clothes. But, eh, oh well. Alright, yes, we've fallen on this unknown rim world. Oh, this is going to be pretty loud again. Whoa, man, we're getting all, like, neon in here and shit, man. Woo! Okay. Let's fix that. Unforbid this. Unforbid that. Now, where are we going to set up show? Damn. I like this place so far. It looks pretty cool. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, there's a lot of locations here that are open. I don't really like that of it, but the rest of it's not too bad. Nice large location to spread out. Unfortunately, there's no no steam vents around here, which kind of sucks. But hey, we got what we got. There is one down here, however. Hmm, it's like I could set up right where I'm at, but there's even more openings here. So either way, wherever I put this, I'm going to have like a dozen openings. Hmm. Yeah, no, I guess I'm going in. I'm going right here, I guess. I could go, like, something in here if I really wanted to keep us nice and contained in an area. We have some play steel over there as well. But, hmm. I don't want to have to haul all of that over there. So I think I'm just gonna say this giant area here is our base. All right, I'll build. I'll build most of our structure back here in this back corner. So I'll put our stockpile right here. Just a big ass general stockpile right now. I'll grow what I can just because winter's gonna come pretty quickly. Alright, let's set this here. Yeah, potato plant, strawberry plant, cotton plant. Good. Alright, so when they actually land, I'll have them just start quickly building as soon as I can. 
I do need to get my guy researching hydroponics fairly early if I can, just because once winter rolls in here, we have a very short growing period. So we'll have little time to actually prepare. We also have no weapons, so I may have to quickly work on weapon production as well. Have out, lads. Slate chunks. Let me get a dumping stockpile over here. This is just for rocks, not for anything else. Actually, don't hold up. Mm, yeah, I'll put it right here. Make sure they're not going to drop any corpses in there. I'll set all this to be hauled. Snow clear region. Orders. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. Smooth floors. Tempting. Uh, haul things. If you don't mind, lads. Alright, at the moment... Actually, I can do that quickly. Get us a quick uh, little building in here to rest in so everyone's not sleeping outside. There we go. Now they just need to actually build those walls up and they have quick easy done. Alright, let's go ahead and claim the structure if I can. Which I guess is in orders. Here we go. Might as well claim everything around here. Alright, sweet. Hunter lacks weapons. That would be nice. Unfortunately, I do not have any weapons to give them. Um, let's see here. I really wish I could have installed that one mod. That would have been nice. Ah, well. I'll just have to deal with it for now and install it later. Hopefully it should work. Essentially, there is a mod for centralized heating, which I do wish to install. Unfortunately, I had to actually log in onto the damn thing in order to have it work. So, yeah, I was like, screw that for now. Let's see here. Production. Let's get a... Of course, that's in the way now. Wooden research bench. Furniture, sleeping location. There we go. Alright. So I will have to set up my place with that in mind. This will actually be perfect for that almost. Nah, not quite, but still. Close, close. I can just set it up as per normal and build that around it. That sounds like a good idea. Okay. So, in that case... Structure. Wooden walls. Um, should I do conduit walls, though, is the question. Hmm. I should. Alright, but first things first, let me actually plan this out here so I'm not uh, screwing myself over as much. I'll leave a little bit of room in the back here. Alright, I'll leave a two gap here, which means that this is actually going to be the inner wall, so, around it. Let's see here. Like so, alright. That's five by five for each of the interiors. So now I just need to wall, 
Actually, no, that is the wall. That's what I made the room for. That was the whole point of that one. Alright, so... That'd be six right there. And I can always extend it further if I want to. Alright. Sweet. Remove you. There we go. Chuck these in here. Lovely. I'll just have to... Or actually, what I can do this. Yeah, two wooden auto doors, one on each side. Whoops, wrong spot. Fail. All right. Just a simple wooden door for the interiors. We don't need to. We don't need to get all fancy inside this place. Wooden conduit wall. All right. Remove the plan. Okay. I should probably hmm. Let me remove that. Yeah, that's five. Okay. I'll just make this a plain old wooden wall here. This is just going to be our uh, dining room. Hmm. So I'll have to set this up slightly different now than if I'm going to do it this way. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let me remove all of those. Remove the back of this. And shove it back a little bit. Like so. That way I can still keep this in the same kind of tunnel. But connect it up. Like so. Alright. Have at her, lads. Have at her. So essentially, the mod I'll be eventually installing is central heating. So I'll be able to create a area in the back here that will work as a, well, a heating room. So we'll have giant uh, machines in there that will generate uh, heat, which will then be transferred along the edge here through vents into the various rooms. Hopefully. Hopefully. See if how well that works. Have fun building, my friends. Now, research. Yeah, 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 we're building a research bench. Quit complaining. Mm, geothermal panel, tempting. Or geothermal panel. Power. Derp. I guess I do need power of some sort, but I'll use I'll use the other ones for now. Electric smelting. Yeah, let's just go straight for hydroponics. Alright. Now, I really wanted to install either the zombie mod or tech tree Minami, but unfortunately, neither of which was uh, ready at this point. So, I had to skip it for now. I had to skip it. 
Actually, you know what? Let me... Let me remove these and replace them with more conduit walls. Oh, we have more than enough wood over here. It's just not being dragged over yet. I hope we do at least. I hope we do. <laughs> All right, let's chop down some more trees, however, just in case. I'll order some trees to be chopped down. This should be compacted steel, which I believe is essentially metal. So we'll mine that. Yeah, you harvest that. I'll, wait for, I'll let, let DSN finish planting all of the plants, the potatoes and whatnot, and then I'll have him mine. Actually, Ruan, you don't mind? Oh, he's not a miner at all. Beth? There you go. Prioritize. So I guess a lot of these guys were already named because of the preset, so yeah. I guess we took our previous colonists and just kind of slapped them in here. <laughs> uh, this may take a while though. Cause it's gonna, yeah, each one is just like a lot stronger now, so it takes a bit of time to mine. Yeah, they're doing a good job though with hauling everything away from here. Okay, who's my, you know what, let me get this prior, let me get the priorities, manual priorities enabled here quickly. Beth is our scientist, so she'll be researching once that opportunity arises. Surge, of course, everyone's top priority is going to be as a patient. You're our doctor. Our negotiator is our warden. DSN, you are also, I believe you're my grower as well. How about cooking? Are you also a cook? You figure out who my cook is. Yes, you're also my cook. Okay, sweet. The rest of you guys, I'll just let you do whatever the hell you want at this point for the moment here. I'll let them kind of, well... There we go. I do want them mostly building as well, but we do already have an area to sleep, so I don't have to be too ridiculous about it right now. Eventually, I will have to, you know, whip them into shape, get them building for real, but at the moment, we're all right. At the moment, we are good. I will actually have to uh, take, uh, make a research bench, or not a research bench, uh, I'll have to use the research bench to acquire uh, tailoring as well, or uh, a textile bench, essentially. Because uh, cloth with the one mod is not just going to magically turn, or cotton is not just going to magically turn into cloth. You actually have to weave it into cloth. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll have to get that done. Alright, with that in mind, we can now actually get to building. Chop more wood. It looks like we're going to bloody need it now. Need a lot of freaking wood. Damn, son. Oh well, it's about what I expected. We are going to be running low on food really quickly, though. We'll have to research weapon smithing right after this and give them a give a guy a weapon. Even though he'll be going after enemies of melee, it's what we got right now. Yeah, we got a bunch of hares and squirrels and whatnot. what we got to work with. Gotta do what you gotta do. Keep it up, Mike. Just gotta build all these walls up. Nice. Alright. Slowly getting it done. We don't even have a hunter. Need defenses. Oh, I'm aware of that. I'm aware of that. But it's not going to happen anytime soon. Not even close. So once I get rid of this place, like remove all the beds, 
move the research bench into here. More than likely what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a power room. So I'm just going to chuck a bunch of batteries in here, hook up the thing, and just throw a bunch of solar panels back here or something. And we're good to go. Good to go. Alright. Needs to be brightly lit. There we go, it's growing now. Got a few logs left. Cryopods over here, which could be good things or bad things, depending. We'll have to see what happens. Once I have them complete the main structure, though, I'm just going to have most of these guys haul. So we do have a lot of metal and all kinds of stuff, like these food packs just sitting around everywhere. And I would really like them to haul all of it back to the base. If they can. Go, go, go! There we go. Yeah, most of these are actually already laid out. They're just waiting on the uh, builders to do their job. Finish hydroponics. Good job. Now I need you to work on... Nuclear power. <laughs> yeah, not quite. Stone cutting is actually quite tempting as well. I definitely do need that. But again, we got to focus on... I don't see weapon production. I believe I must already have access to it then. All right, then let's just go stone cutting. All right. Ah, group from Surgeon's Mesa, or Mesa. Yeah, Mesa, geez, is uh, visiting. Lovely, they can eat their own food. Sweet. Most of the walls are now designated. Just needs a bit more wood and we're good to go. Hey, it's Ruan's birthday. He just turned 23. Congratulations. Yay. Party. Except we, you know, don't have any cake or anything else that could be used as a cake. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, sorry, Ruan. Maybe next birthday. Maybe next birthday we'll be ready for you. Overview. Everyone should have construction. Like, everyone should have pretty much the ability to do everything. If we have to. Especially cleaning, definitely. Alright, looks good. At least all the important stuff I need them to be able to do. Okay, let's take a look at my production here. Yeah, I got the tailor's workbench, the smithing bench, sculptor's table. Don't really need the sculptor's table though right now. We have a mine, which is a new item that uh, was added in from a mod. It requires a mining drill, steel, concrete, and uh, essentially it's an infinite source for materials. However, you need to keep replacing the mining drills every now and then. You do need a dedicated guy to be there drilling. So it's really nice. It's going to allow us to, you know, keep getting materials, but we will, it's, you know, it's not like going to be a free ride. We're going to have to work for it. All right, let's speed this up. Nice. These are all closed off now. I really wish we had windows though. It's the one thing that's still bugging me for light is if we build an exterior structure, we need bloody windows. Someone should really modify that in already. Darn it. Uh oh. A local squirrel has gone mad. Mad, I say! Here it comes. Here it comes. Quick, run to the people. They will save you. Oh, he shot, her, he shot him. Stone cutting has been researched. Sweet. Um, what do we want to work on next? Geothermal? Tempting. Yeah, do it. Do it up. Alright. Hmm. Try 
trying to think where I want to build the kitchen. There we go. Well, that's not quite what I had intended, but I'll just go with it. Just go with it. <laughs> uh, just go with it. I haven't really designed this thing all that well, but it'll have to do. Hundred and seventeen constructions are missing materials. Uh, delete zones. There we go. Structure. Uh, let's see here. Sure, let's go wooden conduit wall. Which is funny because then it won't connect up to here. Low food. I know. I know. There's nothing I can do about that right now. Not a lot I can do. No, wood wall's fine. I'll do that. That should be good. It's not very even, but works, works, works for me. Actually, you know what? Let me cancel. There we go. I'll just put a door in there. So this is where we're going to basically cook and then store our food. I'll keep bodies right here in a small stockpile so they can be chopped up for meat and then transferred into here. Which will be our cold room using the default uh, system at the moment for uh, keeping things cool. Speaking of which temperature, here we have the heater and cooler. Mysterious Blight has destroyed our crop. Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it, we just... Ah, it sucks. That really sucks. Like, really freaking sucks. Jeez. The hell, Victor? Get constructing, damn it. Uh, probably because we're out of wood here. out, aren't we? There's practically nothing around here we can harvest for wood. Mike, get over here. This is more important right now. You can keep doing what you're doing. I believe you're grabbing food. Victor? Oh, yeah, you're trapped in there, aren't you? That's why he's cleaning, because there's nothing he can do. He's completely trapped inside this place until he makes his way out. That's funny, actually. That is funny. <laughs> uh, trapped. Trapped forever. Yeah, we just need wood and we're good to go here. Then I can start placing proper beds in this place. They really need to bloody construct this stuff that's that's what I'm waiting for now is just mostly construction jobs blarg blarg construct damn yo let me also go production get a smithing bench in here looks like I need power for it Uh, 
All right. Um, power. Which I clicked the wrong one. Tet. Nobody sleeps until the job is done. But now, uh, let's set this up in here. Perfect. All right. Hmm. Wooden research bench. Chuck that there. Power. I don't need nearly that much right now, though. I'll just say two. Just to have something, I'll just say two. Alright, power conduits. Now I just really need these guys to start crafting shit. From Dancer's Tree is passing by. That's that's an interesting village name. <laughs> then again, I've had some really interesting village names. Hmm. I don't think we should call the colony Ellis. That just seems like that just seems like we're crazy. Welcome to Ellis. Wait, what? 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 No, I'm kidding. Anyway, let's finish this up here. Let's see. Uh, what do we want here? What do we want? Let's go. Hmm. Frozen. I'm thinking frozen wa wasteland. No, I have no idea. Usually, I think uh, just go. Ah, crap. Now I'm, like, drawing a blank. It's, like, thinking of so many different things, but it's just like, no, it's good. No, not that. No, maybe. Ah. Uh... Hmm. I'll just go with New Canada again. I mean, it is freezing up here, so that works for now. I was tempted to go Nunavut, but I figured that would probably slip past most people. Yeah, so we're just missing a whole lot of freaking wood right now is what we're waiting on. Come on, Victor. Come on. Thank you. So everyone's now coming to cut down trees. Hopefully. I hope this will speed us along. Allow us to finish this stuff. We got power. One second, Victor. Let's get that actual blueprint done if you don't mind. Thanks, homie. There we go. Now I gotta work on the power line. Okay, you can go sleep now. Just go to bed, man. Just go to bed. Wait, are none of the trees back here good? I just now realized we had these two trees here. 
One second. And Mike. Cut those down for me, homie. Thank you. Sweet, so we now have the power hooked up. For the most part. Sweet. Getting her done. Slowly, slowly getting her done. Furniture. No, it's not furniture I'm looking for. Production. Butcher's table. Cooking stove. Uh, zones. Stockpile. Storage. Animal corpses only. Important priority. Storage. Manufactured textiles, raw resources. Okay. So just food goes in there. All right. And no foods go in here. Sweet. Now they just got to finish all this up and we're good to go here. <laughs> so we just need an F, F ton more of wood. Ah, uh, I guess I should have tried using stone blocks for most of this as well, but... Ah, well. Too late now. We're already, we're already making this whole damn thing out of wood, so it's just going to have to get done. There we go. Chop those trees down. I oh, was getting it done. Cut down that tree for me if you don't mind, mate. You are our expert tree cutter. Lovely. So what do we have missing materials now? 122 just wood, 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 wood. Lots and lots of wood. God damn. It's like we don't just happen to have giant piles of wood somewhere still. Uh, I should have just brought more wood. That's my bad. No, I don't think wood's one of the items that'll drop around here. Oh, well. Eh, she's chopping down a couple of them. Guessing you're going for the food? Yeah, I thought as much. Hmm. It's already reserved by Mike, so everyone's like going a mile away right now just to be able to eat something. Poor bastards. I wonder, it should, instead of telling me which constructions are missing, it should have an option just to say, you know, how much is missing. But this will definitely be all that I'm making out of wood. Nope, it's not fully grown. Then again, it's not going to be fully grown. Not anymore. There we go. So I have all these designated to be cut down now. Hopefully they will do it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the temperature's going down. That's not good. That's not good at all. I am not prepared for that. Sadly. But I definitely hope to get that centralized heating mod in because I really do want to uh, give it a shot. You know, trading capacity still looks like we actually have the traders in here now. Again, we need more wood. Ta! Uh, that's not going to happen. If you don't mind, buddy. Probably won't get much from this much of a tree, though. Or this much of a growth cycle in that tree. 24% growth. Let's see what that gives us. 
Come on, hurry up. Oh, gave us nothing. Wow, that that sucks. That really sucks. Alrighty then. Come on. All ass, boys and girls. Let's get her done. As much as is possible at this point. If you don't mind. Hauling wood. Nice. It's Beth's birthday. Just turned 39. Yay. Yeah, we have like no food. We have no weapons. We have nothing right now. So we are in so much shit. Outdoor temperature is currently 7 Celsius. That's not very warm. From Struggles Cliff. Huh? Nice place. God damn. Yeah, I know. We have practically no food. We have practically no nothing. Ugh. I should murder these guys for food. That is tempting, actually. <laughs> Alright, let's get you down here. Need to keep cutting a lot of trees down. That's all we can do at this point. Hiya! Silver done, screwed up. Should have brought more food. Should have brought more everything. <laughs> of course, not enough to make it too unbalanced, but I should have uh, definitely at least brought more wood. All it. Yeah, looks like I can just equip. I can equip a log, which is funny though. I bet that would make a uh, terribly ineffective weapon. Uh, we got another thirty. I mean, geez, like look at all these walls here that are missing like six wood. Ugh. Frack me. Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. I'm just like suffering now just to try and get enough wood for this thing. Uh, might be able to get something from here. Not much, that's for sure. Damn it. How much metal do we have? We have more metal than we do for everything else. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fill in the parts that we are missing with metal. Because that is what we have right now. So this place is going to look so freaking patchwork. It's, it's going to be ridiculous. But you know what? At this point, I just need the freaking thing built. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright. Because we've, well, we've been waiting long enough, damn it. There we go. Get her done, lads. Get her done. And I'll set them up to mine this as well. Cancel this bit, though. We don't need to mine that. There we go. Now we're getting shit done. Oh, wait. I forgot to build that bit. Whoops. Whoops. My bad. My bad. I actually do like that at long last I could just click this and go on. Like, I don't have to constantly select the thing automatically. That's definitely something I've wanted for a while now. It's just bugged the hell out of me. So it's nice to have at long last. 
There we go. Finally, the walls are now mostly completed. We can stop, like, going batshit crazy over it. Uh... Oh, frack. It's one guy with a knife, one crime lord with a knife, but we have no weapons. <laughs> I still haven't gotten around to crafting them. Not even like a basic steel club. Get that done, please. Let's see here. Smithing bench. Hmm. Spear. Shiv. I want to make a mace. No wood. Or uranium. Why, why would you make a sword out of uranium? That just seems like a very stupid idea. <laughs> uh, who is my crafter? Who is my super crafter? Ruan. Get her done, homie. We need this shit done. Oh, here they come. The fuck? Oh, that's not good. What have you done? Wicked, what have you done, you idiot? Shit, son. Furniture. Uh-oh, too late. Jude's gonna piss him off and we're screwed. Oh, no, he's done. He's done. Screw it. Back off. He's a dead man. Yeah, literally. He's got a bionic eye. And now, unfortunately, these guys are coming to kick my ass because the idiot went and fucking pissed them off. Oh, we're done. We're already GG'd. They're gonna wipe us out. Wow. We're so screwed. We're so screwed right now. Get him, boys! Pretty much everyone except for Juan. Get in there and melee his ass. Get him, boys! Get him! Oh, you prick! How dare you light fire to my walls! Left and kill you! Or at least beat you into the ground so we can take you hostage. Knock him out, boys. Knock him out. Okay, good. We got him. Capture him. He dropped gold. Sweet. Get him! This is a surprisingly effective attack method.
Get him. He's down. All right, let's get him. Capture him. I have no medical beds right now, so I'll have to set up one of these as medical. Who is my medic? DSN surgeon. Chill, minor. Uh, butcher's table, bill, butcher creature. Just do forever. DSN, where are you? Wait, what? The hell? Did I screw that up? Oh no, DSN... Wait, I thought you were my cook. Weren't you my cook? He's my cook. So... Why will you not do that? Weird. Hmm. Extreme pain from bruises. Let's take a look at these guys, though. They're both incapable of nothing important, or un yeah, incapable of nothing important. So I do want to heal these guys if possible. prioritize healing these guys then I want to heal Beth like now this is taking a while actually heal Beth we need her alive she's our scientist Need graves. Ugh, do we have to bury them? Can't we just, like, chuck them in a pile somewhere? That's probably what I'll do, actually. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can get a dump stockpile here for them. So, surprisingly enough, we actually managed to live. I thought for sure we'd be screwed there. I thought for sure we'd be screwed. So I'll definitely have to heal everyone up here. Who's having a mental break now? God damn it, Mike. Stop having a mental break. Why are you naked, Mike? Eight off the ground, sharing a bedroom. Yeah, because they still haven't freaking built that stupid wall. Strip this one if you don't mind. Wear some pants, damn it. Put your pants on, foo. Yeah, everyone's kind of pissed that they're naked. There you go, Mike. You're no longer naked. Have fun. We have, like, no food for these guys at all. We have, like, no food, period, almost. This is bloody terrible. And I can't seem to use my butcher's table. I'm not sure why. I mean, we have this squirrel here because it's rotting. That's why. Frack. Well, I figured out why. <laughs> well, that blows. That blows. So, I'm going to put this cooler in here quickly. So, we can cool this area and get that dealt with next time. Uh, we'll have to see how this goes. I have huge, huge issues with food right now, so I have to send, take the rifles that we acquired, the weapons, go out, start killing mufalos like effing crazy, and start butchering a couple of them, and get this place cooled so I can use it as a proper food fridge. Uh, get a table in here, get some chairs so they're not eating off the freaking floor, getting pissed off because they're eating off the freaking floor. Uh, order this guy to haul the body so he can, you know, 
stop increasing the uh, stress on all of our guys. Actually, not Mike, not Mike. Mike can do what he wants. Ruan, you haul the body. Get it out of here. Get it out of here, man. So, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. Definitely have yourselves a great one. And I'll hopefully see y'all next time with some more RimWorld. Not quite sure when that'll be. Considering I'll be on vacation here in a couple of days. But hey. Whenever I come back. So probably like a week and a half. Two weeks from now. There'll be more RimWorld. Hopefully. Unless they, you know, whip the crap out of me for work. And then in which case, you know, it'll be done when it's done. But anyway. Peace out.